hello I'm Gerald and thank you for watching uh, I have two very interesting torches today which I would like to compare these are two very very different animals uh, one which is a very beautiful camel warrior X turbo and the other one is the latest Olight Archer very simple in design smooth body zero hotspot good grip good size uh, body is made from solid alloy doesn't feel plasticky at all as usual, the magnetic charging. Right. As you can see, this one is basically a reflector torch. No lens. The Archer uses uh, lenses to throw the light and to focus it. There's a PMMA lens plus a glass lens which covers the torch. Warrior X Turbo has no side switches, only the tail switch is available with two modes. And the Archer only has the side switch with three brightness modes, no tail switch. Now, I was actually hesitating when uh, before I actually bought this uh, the photographs don't actually do justice to how the torch actually feels in your hand because it has a very good heft uh, workmanship is amazing uh, it's like, I just love the size and the, how it feels in the hand because it's, it's um, not plasticky at all as it would appear in the photographs very well made, the details are spot on. Some users might not like this torch because of the lack of grip, but uh, it's nothing that uh, a rubber silicone sleeve would actually not solve at all. It's actually, yeah, I, I, I like it. Now the Archer comes with a very nice ergonomic uh, sheath. Comes with a belt clip. Right, comes with a stopper, so you don't actually accidentally pull out the sheath to get the torch when you actually reach out to get the torch from your belt. Uh, sheath is plastic, but I, it, it's pretty well made. It's, it's nice, simple and nice. So it's not that the Warrior X Turbo is not a nice torch. Uh, it is a nice torch. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm actually a crazy fan of Camel. Anything that's in Camel or OD, it's my cup of tea. But the only thing I don't like about this Warrior X Turbo is the uh, the clip. Yeah, I don't like the clip. It gives a uh, hot spots. In your grip because you, you really got to adjust your grip before you get comfortable with the clip on I, I might remove the clip right apart from that it's a very nice torch tough rugged looking torch now first off let's have a look at the uh, warrior x pro it's uh it has uh 1,100 lumen scorching 250,000 candelas of light intensity uh, throws about 1 km uh, only way to operate this torch is through the tail and switch right 
this is the low the high low and high you see it has a very very concentrated focus with a uh, very good spill it's a circular corona around that focus point So this torch only has a side switch and no tail switch yeah so to switch it on you just press long press to change between the brightnesses low medium high so if you notice this is a very very different profile is a squarish focus light with almost zero spill you know you get all the light concentrated in that square spot all right so in practicality I will actually compare how the warrior X turbo works in comparison with the archer so i'm a very practical person i don't just look at the uh, technical specs whether it, it has a higher lumens higher candelas so the thing is whether the torch suits your usage and how you want the torch to perform so if i would show you how the warrior x turbo performs in comparison with the Archer which has a lower lumen and a lower candela so you would actually see the difference this is uh, Warrior X Turbo this, uh, that van is about 50 feet away right you have a very narrow focus point with uh, a good flood which you can see your surrounding so so it's, it's like if you needed a torch with some illumination for objects nearby this would be good for you All right so uh, next would be the archer So I'm using the highest brightness for both torches. If you notice the archer throws just as well, 50 feet away, but it has a bigger focus point, larger surface of uh, illumination for objects further away, but it has zero spill. So this torch would be good for those who prefer to illuminate objects further away without any spill to illuminate the objects nearer. Right? Very very focused. Larger focus. Zero spill. Zero flood. And against the Warrior Turbo now, smaller focus, good flirt, circular rounded flirt, very regular rounded flirt to illuminate the objects nearby. So from what you've seen, these are very two different throwers. This uh, archer has a decent throw with a bigger focus uh, hotspot area. Illuminates uh, objects further away with a bigger focus area. But the Warrior X Turbo throws further but has a very much smaller 
focus area. So it depends on what you're looking for in a torch. Uh, for me, I pick this one for my daily use or to just keep in a car because uh, it has the uh, kind of illumination that I want. Because the thing is, I don't, uh, they, I don't think my hu the human eye can actually see clearly one km away. So in practicality. If a torch gives me good illumination within like the next hundred feet away with a very good focus and large focus light, I think that would be good. So my pick would be the archer. So it, it would differ from person to person because the thing is, is uh, Depends on what you're looking for. Surprisingly good. Thank you for watching.